Okay, here's the seal. Went right into this hole right there. I could have probably pried that out. But there's nothing wrong with taking this apart. I have to put a new gasket on the tank for the oil. Everything else looks fine. It pumps. And the seal for the crankcase is broken. But that's all going to happen when I order a seal kit. I keep thinking this is going to be a long-term project, but I'm working on it every day. So the seal is now inside diameter. Well, it says 0.78. What's the shaft? 0.74. So three-quarter shaft. So 0.74 on the shaft. Yeah, and the inside diameter of the seal, zero, is it says point seven seven. Let's write that down. Outside diameter, zero. Oh, now turn it on. One point one two, and on the housing, it is zero. Might be hard to reach that. get her close. 1.11. And the depth of the seal, of the metal on the seal, looks like an eighth. 0.12. Great. So that's good news. All in all, a small JB weld repair where it's not important Okay, I think now I have everything I need to order. Let's see, so I have to order a seal. I have to order the gasket for the tank and the gas, uh, the intake mount or the crankcase. A carb kit, not that bad. But I got parts all over the darn garage now, man. And this is my sealed up tank that I got. I did that the other day. That's cool. So yes, and after it's all said and done, I'm gonna order a, a 36 inch or a 26 inch or 24 inch bar and chain or something. But that's not till I have it running perfect. So I got some homework to do now. Cool. Thanks guys. Hi guys. So the reeds are absolutely perfect. <laughs> Can't suck on them at all. And they go right below the carburetor. Like that. So thanks for your patience on this one guys. I got some work to do and parts to order. Jumping Dina, I got lots of parts to order. All right, my friends. We're back on the red, on the old 100 cc Home Light chainsaw made in 1968, and I'm just taking a few more things off. This uh, section on the drive side has a crack in it, right, right there. So I'm going to, after it's painted, I'm going to add this unit which is from the, uh, the 70 cc saw, but I'm just going to make sure everything's going to fit right now. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I wonder if I can move you over to here. Like that. And uh, we can uh, set you up just a little bit better. 
I gotta, whoop, I gotta take these five bolts off nuts or five sixteenths. Oh, not that way. So we gotta go to plan B on that guy. It's well made, eh? Oh yeah. It's just been on there a thousand years. Nicely torqued. So I want to paint this. This is one of my goals, eh? Okay, now we can use this. Is there anything else holding this on? Use the right tool for the right job, I always say. If you can, over here. I don't know if there's any more holding it on there or not. Well, it's coming. Now, hopefully, we can, yes, I was worried, do you see this cutout right here? So this is about a five, four or five year older piece. So let's just see if it fits, oh, the gasket did break, eh? Okay, let's see if it fits on there. I have a gasket for that. Lovely. We may end up using this oil tank. I'm just looking right now, guys. So I can see oil leaking out of there. Whereas this one doesn't have... And we have a different way for the air to come in. I've had this one off. Oh, I'm going to just try it. See if we can get this off with the gasket. Close my eyes there. Well, they don't want to come, eh? Oh, the gasket might survive. Breaks. Oh crap! Well, I think I can use a gasket, a gasket uh, like the black gasket stuff on that. We'll get it off of there. That's not bad. I'm gonna go hang that up. I think I'm gonna use the other tank. Isn't that cute? I should just put a little bit of oil on that to see if it actually sucks. There we go. 
Looks pretty well made. I'm not going to take any more off of here. I'd like to see this bearing turn. Is the seal still in there? It is. So do we go gronk on that or do we go light on it? That's the old seal. I think those bearings are rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Hey, I'm just going to try something. Just with uh, some transmission fluid here. Here's the, here's the, with, this has to work, right? So I'm going to put a little fuel in, put a little oil in there. Should be coming out of here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Excellent. I'm just going to blow through that a little bit more now that we have a path. Easy though, Bruce. Easy. Yep. Hey, baby. Okay, so this is going to work for our uh, paintable surface. Well, I got to get the screws out of there, eh? <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'll turn you off for that. You guys don't need to see that. All right, next step. Uh, this just has to be cleaned up and then lightly masked, right? There's going to be stuff you never see, so I'll just mask it off easily. But the pump works. The oil pump. That's cool. So now I'm starting to build another set of parts I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use this one because it's cracked. I'm not going to use this one because it has the air hole there. They must have a new vent on the on the newer issue. So that's cool. Now, rewind. First, we're going to take the rewind off, and then we're going to take out take off the uh, main housing for the rewind because I want to paint it. Drop one, but I got it. Don't panic. So that goes on like that. We'll just put those bolts back in there like that for now until we paint. So this is going to be painted that uh, olive green color, which I have. Da -da 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 body because I don't want to paint the well I guess could I paint it from here just take the screws out and paint it you know that might be a nice way to go we're not uh, although I want to change the points Here's the on off switch for the points just because of that horrible looking Although it's pretty, 
Let me just look at the old points. The other set of points. Which wire looks better? Hmm. Could I just use this? I wonder how long that coil is. That's going to be sitting in there like that. Oh, about the same length. You know, I might just keep everything the way it is. Okay, so let's just get a little screwdriver and, have, and see how dirty this guy is. Eh? Boy, that's got a lot of compression, man. Maybe I should get the muffler off of there. We'll get that cleaned up. What are those? Three eighths? Yep. Let's just try it with the crank gun. Mmm, don't like that. I must have had this off at one point. Yeah. And then that one's a 7 16. You guys might remember this. I hope I still have it on film. I did uh, I did the pressure test on the cylinder with this. That's really cool. Man. Okay. Look at the size of the cylinder on that thing. Make sure that's closed. Well, I'm going to take this off just because I can. Make it nicer for painting that hand. Hmm. Is that not the 5 16 Yes, it is. Hmm. We'll get a ratchet wrench. Why is that slipping on there? Because it's wrecked. We'll have spares. No, that's rounded up. Okay, vice grips. Oh, oh, oh. Are you guys still watching this? I think she's coming. I'm definitely going to have to replace that nut or bolt. Good. One, two. Now, I want to get this guard off of here. Another strip job, is it? You know what? It might be the socket. That socket is getting long in the tooth, maybe. Oh my god! Let's get this other one off. Oh, 
always end up doing the hard, hard, hardest one last, right? Good. Okay, that is a special, special screw on that one. I got this. I think I got this last bolt. It was stripped as well. So we might be able to reuse these. Oh yeah, man. I can get a lot of grease off of that guy. Okay, so how is that held on there? Oh, just with the grommet. There we go. Right? I think I'm going to get some old gas and soak all these parts just as fuel. If I do paint it, I'm going to take these bolts out and soak them in fuel. Let's just see how accessible they are. Good. Good. I'm going to clean it up first. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. You know what I should do? Is that piece of rubber just covers the muffler, right? cover the exhaust port with that rubber again, just like that, and uh, whatever was holding this muffler cover on, and that's a 3 8 a different spark plug because I'm going to use that CJ8 you know, and uh, but I'll be covering this whole unit here with paper yeah that's going to work good now that's got to be covered too excellent Oops, sorry about that guys. So these are just 1224 nuts. I'm going to uh, just spin these nuts on here to hold this aluminum cover on here. And I can paint it at willy nilly as well. Okay, most of this cha uh, chainsaw is held together with 1224. Where did that third one go? 1224 uh, screws and nuts. So I'm just, what I'm going to do here, it really doesn't matter if I get paint on the back of this, but now I can, I can work on this separately and leave this on. And I've got lots of 1224 screws. And I'm going to just, I'm just doing stuff like this now. Look at the size of that cylinder, hey? There. And the tin. Good. Right there. Excellent. Alright, all my friends, I'm going to use the small 516th socket, Proto, oh, Craftsman, how about that? Yeah, baby. And a quarter inch rattle gun, 
And I'm going to take this off one more layer. I have decided that I'm going to paint this uh, separately than this just because of the holes and the threads and all that stuff. I probably will take some 1224 screws of any size and stick them in the holes so that the holes don't get full of paint. Good. Of course now we have more goo and schmoo. But that's alright, I'm just going to cover this. This is not an emergency. Now I just want to see if I can feel a tingle on this. Which way does the rewind pull? The rewind... Can you believe that? The rewind turns it counterclockwise, so I should feel a tickle. I want to see the spark. But it's fighting me. Sorry, i got to turn you guys off for a minute. Oh, I can feel it through my body. Oh yeah, we got a spark. So that's good. And I like this little plug, so I don't want to paint it red. So I've got a few things to do yet. So this saw is mostly going to be a hanger, right? Like a wall hanger. But once in a while it's going to be started up. So, okay, look at this. There's a crack there. And then right across from there is a missing, is a missing tooth out of our uh, guard. So that is kind of interesting, isn't it? Alright my friends, this is the cover from the blue saw, the C71 or the C51, I can't remember which. And they are identical except the plate. So I can take this plate off, put a piece of masking tape over that, or not, <laughs> and just put it on the new one. Let's just see if we can... Uh, these things are actually screwed on, eh? Oh yeah, they're coming out. Well, that's ultimately wonderfully cool.